This presentation covers Net Backup IT Analytics. What is IT Analytics and what are some of the use cases? Net Backup IT Analytics is a platform that aggregates and visualizes data in hybrid and multi-cloud environments via a single pane of glass. The way it works is we use an agentless data collector to connect to a wide variety of content sources, whether public or private cloud, network storage, SAN switches, and different backup and replication vendors. By aggregating this data, we can assist customers with optimizing their data protection and storage, providing comprehensive chargeback and a view into their hybrid cloud. IT analytics use cases include data protection, storage optimization, chargeback, and public cloud. Our customers often have large complex environments and it can be difficult to manage and optimize those environments. Another consideration is that not all customers are running that backup. Customers that might also have IBM, Microsoft Azure, AWS, Veeam, Cohesity, Rubrik, or all of the above. Trying to optimize an environment that complex and diverse is very difficult without IT analytics. Having visibility into your entire environment allows you to look across multiple vendors so you can see how many successful backups you've had, how many failures, what the failure rate is, and if SLAs are being met across those different vendors. With one large financial customer, we were able to reduce failing backup jobs, identify unused assets, and migrate workloads to less expensive storage. That produced over $5 million in savings, in addition to providing compliance reporting to ensure that they were meeting their SLAs and avoiding audit fines. Another key use case for Net Backup IT Analytics is storage optimization. We've had customers who said they can't buy more storage for a few years until their budget comes back. Since Net Backup IT Analytics gathers data from storage arrays, VMs, and backup environments, we can analyze and determine where we can reclaim storage from across the enterprise. We look for unused and unallocated LUNs, LUNs that are given to a host, but maybe that host is now decommissioned and is no longer using those LUNs, and they haven't been reclaimed back to the storage array. We're looking for backups with high retention periods. The host that might be a test or a UAT box, not very mission critical, but someone's misconfigured it and given it an infinite retention. We have images that are not expiring and occupying space on expensive storage. We're looking for VMs that are either powered off or aren't doing anything. Oftentimes customers will just power off VMs. They won't think about the fact that they're potentially using space on tier one storage. And over time that storage adds up. We've worked with a large bank recently that reclaimed and repurposed 8.3 petabytes of primary storage across their global infrastructure generating cost savings of $16.5 million. This allowed them to significantly delay future storage purchases. Another Fortune 50 bank leveraged IT analytics to report on job level deduplication on data domain to identify misconfigured tier one capacity being consumed by poorly deduplicating clients. These client backups were moved to EMC Isilon and the bank realized an immediate savings of $1.9 million. A third use case is providing chargeback, showback, or shameback to the business. Infrastructure as a service needs to assign costs for infrastructure usage. Chargeback helps the business understand where the budget is being spent and aligns these costs with the different business units. An infrastructure as a service customer used IT analytics recently to verify billing by their storage providers and discovered that they were being overbilled by roughly $1 million a month. An insurance company recouped their software investment in nine months by automating IT resources billing across their entire global infrastructure. These days, customers are also having workloads in both AWS, Azure, and perhaps other cloud platforms as well. Many customers are migrating some or all of their workloads to the cloud. IT analytics can provide a complete inventory of all cloud assets and identify if they're being protected and how they're being protected and prevent a situation where data can't be recovered during a disaster recovery or ransomware situation. Each time a report is requested from the cloud, AWS charges for the API calls. The more people within the organization requesting reports, the more it's costing the business. ITA collects once and reports many. Customers can pull unlimited reports without incurring additional costs. 
We can also analyze a customer's VMware environment and show what that exact environment would cost if you moved it to the cloud. Since we're measuring and measuring the actual environment, we can provide accurate numbers. During a recent POC, we demonstrated that their current, the current dev environment of a customer had 4,000 VMs, and that would cost nearly $700,000 per month in AWS. These are just a few examples of how IT analytics can save customers money, provide more visibility, and reduce their overall risk. Thank you.